Princeton researchers recently did some new research around what they call ageism. Now, most of us are familiar with what they call descriptive ageist prejudice, in which seniors are discriminated against based on negative stereotypes, like seniors are slow or they have poor memory, that kind of thing. They identified something new. They call it prescriptive prejudice, and it's how older adults should differ from others in the opinions of those that they survey. And it's interesting the areas that they concentrated on or found. First one was succession. The idea that older adults should actually move aside from high paying jobs and prominent social roles for young people. That was one. Identity. The idea that older people should not attempt to act <laughs> younger than they are. Hmm. And the third is consumption. The idea that seniors just uh, consume too many scarce resources particularly health care. And so a lot of prejudices among um, younger people toward older people. Now, interestingly enough, I found a great new show. It's called Forever Young. It's a TV reality show. And in it, they, they put seniors together with younger people and they live in a house together. And it's interesting, over the many weeks that the show unfolded, what each population found out about the other and how it really helped dispel myths and made the intergenerational bond so strong. And I would guess if they took this survey, <clears throat> they would absolutely disagree with any of it. They would say that <clears throat> older adults shouldn't move aside. They can act as young as they want and, uh, and they deserve to live a long and prosperous life because they have so much to share. And the older people in turn would tell you all about all that the younger generation can offer. So maybe that's the, the uh, solution to all this, is we need to start pairing the generations together more often and find opportunities to do that. Thanks.